Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, today we're going to just um, make a small tutorial about how the Firepower uh, doing the URL filtering. Uh, so we have the uh, the sensor, the FTD, the uh, threat defense, um, and we have the FMC, the uh, management center here. So uh, the first thing we're going to check here is the license of the URL is just uh there or not so uh we're gonna open the uh GUI let me go to the system and we check the license so i'm using the uh the trial license here so here we have the uh url filtering uh license also you have to check that your device already have the license from the device section here so we have uh, the FTD uh, series 7 able to use the uh, malware protection and the RL filtering so the first thing you should do when you play around with this uh, features you have to make sure that the fmc is uh can access the internet so uh we go to the system and then to the configuration and you check the management interface so in the topology here if you look at this the the fmc has two uh interface so the management interface connected to my outside network through the cloud here and the gig zero zero has the reachability to the sensor to the fire bar threat defense here okay so on the go away again uh, on the management interface we should check the following so the ethernet zero which is the management traffic here it took the ip address from the outside network we have the default gateway configured and we have the dns configured so everything uh seems good uh then We want to go to the integration section here and check the uh, URL filtering database. So here you have to uh, check this box right here, query the Cisco for unknown URL, and then you update your uh, URL filtering database. For me, it took some time to just download the uh, file from the cloud, but eventually I have the recent update for the URL database so this is from the GUI we can check the uh, URL filtering from the FMC uh, CLI uh, to see if the update is already installed or not so if we go back to the topology and go to the CLI so you go to, to this location here the uh, VAR SF cloud download and you just check out the two files here that ends with dot then so it's easier that the updates already uh, installed on uh, the sum 23 so this is on the FMC you can check also on the FTD you can check that the FMC already pushed the uh, the update the URL update to the uh, sensor itself so we can check from the CLI itself here on the FTD. As you can see, the same location, but here, if we just get back a bit.
So you have uh, the FTD like that. You say expert, and then sudo sc, and then the password, and you go to the location cd var sf cloud download and you say uh, ls dash alpha so this is the same file that we saw on the fmc database from the cli it means that the fmc washed the uh, url filtering update to the sensor itself so got to go now we should go to the um, FMC to the GUI to configure the URL filtering uh, policy from policies here And this is my policy FTD for the, the sensor, FTD uh, series 7. Like that. So here I'm just creating a uh, policy that blocking everything but with the logging so I want to see the logging uh, message shows me which side going to be blocked or permitted so I'm blocking everything with logging here okay so the first thing you should do is permit the DNS query from your inside network to outside uh, network so basically we're going to create a rule to just say um, permit DNS or allow DNS and it's just simply gonna trust inspection so from so if we get back to topology here I have two network router 42 router 43 so we have two zone here this one, this one. I only care about this, this one right now. So this is inside router 43 as a source and outside as a destination. And then we're going to check the section port here. And we're going to see DNS here. Uh, add it as a destination okay add it as a destination then okay you can enable the logging to check later if this is permitted or not and we're gonna insert this rule above our default rule here so you see above rule and add Okay, and save. Deploy. So before doing anything, let's just uh, record the deployment here. Let's check the, uh, the, the test machine on the topology. We have Windows 64 as a test machine. So let's go to here. And we say uh, NS lookup. I think I saved the command NS lookup. So the, the my DNS server is Google right now. So if we say Facebook. Com. So the, the the connection is going to be prohibited. By the uh, firepower. In my network. Why? Because there is no rule says that I should allow this or not. So right now, after the 
deployment, we can see that the DNS query request and query reply will be successful. <coughs> Just you know, wait a little bit to push the policy to the sensor. So as we can see, it took almost three minutes to push the policy to the sensor. So uh, let's check again if we can resolve the Facebook IB address from my test machine. So as we can see, it's successful resolving right now. So the address, like the IB version 6 and the IB version 4. Basically, that's the DNS. That's the first thing you should uh, check and configure before doing the URL filtering. So this is not mean that you can allow Facebook. It's just old page here. So you can say Facebook, nothing. It's going to be to be blocked by the firepower threat defense. Uh, we can see here that our fire bower is blocking this particular connection under the default policy. Your connection events. So this is the DNS query here for my test machine to the uh, Google DNS, which is uh, the action is trust. Okay, so we're blocking everything else. So let's just configure our first policy uh, using the URL filtering by the Firebower thread defense. Let's go to the uh, policy again. And it is. Let's create a policy that allow the uh, social network to be permitted, like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, all these sites should be permitted. So let's add a rule here below the DNS. So you have to be sure that it's the, the, the rules are in order because if your rule it's uh, below the default policy, which is blocking everything, the policy won't work. So I'll say here, allow allow social. Let's just finish on in from the uh, inside zone to the outside zone. And we go to the URL. Just search for social, social network, add, and enable the logging, add. And save and deploy. We should wait a little bit. Okay, so the policy uh, is being pushed to the sensor, but look at this. The policy is under our default policy that's blocking everything. So we have to drag and drop the policy above 
our default policy. Save. It's kind of like the access control list. The more specific on the top, the more general on the bottom. And deploy again. We just should wait. So now we got uh, to go and uh, check that we can open the Facebook again. So right now, the Facebook is permitted, allowed from the uh, our firewall. Let's open the LinkedIn. I can open the link again. Okay. So uh, this is about the URL filtering by the firepower thread defense or the FT. Thank you, guys.